Okay, last one before I go back out on the slopes. Psalm 10. Why do you stand far off, O Lord? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In pride, the wicked hotly pursue the afflicted. Let them be caught in the plots which they have devised. For the wicked boast of his heart's desire. And the greedy man curses and spurns the Lord. The wicked, in the haughtiness of his countenance, does not seek him. And his thoughts are, there is no God. His ways prosper at all times. Your judgments are on high out of his sight. As for his adversaries, he snorts at them. He says to himself, I will not be moved. Throughout all generations, I will not be in adversity. His mouth is full of curses and deceits and wickedness. Under his tongue is mischief and wickedness. He sits in the lurking places of the villages. His eyes stealthily watch for the unfortunate. He lurks in hiding places as a lion in his lair. He lurks to catch the afflicted. He catches the afflicted when he draws him into his nest. He crouches, he bows down and the unfortunate fall by his mighty ones. He says to himself, God has forgotten. He's hidden his face. He'll never see it. Arise, O Lord. O God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the afflicted. Why has the wicked spurned God? He has said to himself, you will not require it. You have seen it. For you have beheld mischief and vexation to take it into your hand. The unfortunate commits himself to you. You have been the helper of the orphan. Break the arm of the wicked and the evildoer. Seek out his wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. Nations have perished from his land. O oh Lord, you have heard the desire of the humble. You will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear to vindicate the orphan and the oppressed so that man who is of the earth will no longer cause terror. God bless the reading and hearing of his word. Amen.